from contradicting preservation are only reinforcing and confirming it. You see, I... Now, now my argument to you is this. If you can now point to me where her methodology, as Brother Mansour has very succinctly uh, demonstrated, that her methodology is completely wrong, that within scholarship she's been highly criticised, then you have a point. I don't agree his methodology is wrong, because he's not trying to do what you're talking about. And I agree that's a good thing to do. So what's, what's he trying to achieve? All he's trying to do is to take the standardised half Yes, bags, yes. Bags, with the manuscript. Okay. That's what he's doing. How would you do that? You take the uh, manuscript, yes. whichever that top copy, yes. whatever that might yes. be, yes. and you say, at this point here, it's, a, it's, a, it's it had something inserted over the top of it. Right. That's what you do. Now, as a scholar, yeah. how would you rule out a scribal error? Very good question. No, I think I think he's saying he actually gives in his book. He says uh, reasons for this could be uh, scribal error. I didn't ask you that question. I asked you what would the methodology be to demonstrate that this was actually just a scribal error. What was what would you what would you have to do? Because to he doesn't do that. He mentions it. What would you have to do? do Can I just ask? Um, what is your issue with his work? No, 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 no. Can you answer my question? I wanted to ask him no, this no, question. No, 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 no. I asked you... No, I've, been li I've listened to you for no, a long time. I've asked now. you a question, though. You can no, answer my question first. What is the methodology... Can I just ask him a question? What is the methodology okay. that you would have to, uh, to, to, to execute in order to find out whether this was just a scribal error? What would you have to do? To find out if there's something is a scribal error, you would have to look at the uh, text itself and see whether or not there is any likely alternatives to the word that has no. been substituted? No. No? No. You wouldn't do that? No. Okay, if okay. a scribe makes uh, an error right. and there are multiple copies of something, before, during and after, what would you do to find out whether actually right, this so was... so you're talking about what um, you were saying earlier, about how you would look at other manuscripts and see which is the dominant text. That's logical, right? Right, yeah, absolutely. Is that rational? But, yes, but... Is that what, fair? Yes, it is. Does yes. he do that? No. no. So then, he hasn't the, chosen to do that yet. So there you go. He's only doing one thing, which so is saying, look, guys, you made your, you made your argument. You've, you've completed the... Absolutely. There are manuscripts which do not conform to Hafs Quran. That's all he's saying. You just said to me, yeah. it would be fair... Correct, yes. it, correct methodology, it would be the right thing to do, yes. and then you've admitted to me and he hasn't done that. Yes. So, Khalas, the matter is, we finished then. So, you're bringing you're, you're, you're him to the discussion. To, to bring him to the discussion to yeah. somehow doubt question, the yeah. preservation yeah. of exactly. the Quran so is exactly. fruitless. Exactly. It's something that doesn't help the discussion. So, he is not a witness for Quran not being preserved. In fact, he's a witness against it. Exactly. In fact, he's a proof that the Quran has been preserved. Exactly. He should have done this robust methodology and comparison. He doesn't do that for a simple reason. He knows it's been done because the sources that he goes to, he knows already it's available online. Yes. And there are other manuscripts that you can compare. Yes. Like I've demonstrated, we have demonstrated, me and Brother Farid. But what's the video? It's on Farid, Farid UN Ajaz. Yeah, but we have an academia yeah. uh, paper on yeah. this, on this in, in, in significant correction of manuscripts. Um, we will put that on the description of the videos in the under channel, dawah wise, under dawah wise. And, and dawah wise and elsewhere where you can read that paper and you can see how this methodology is only coming from an evangelical standpoint. He's an evangelist. He's not bringing his scholarship onto the scene, but he's bringing his ideological stance and saying there seems to be some kind of ideological move of corrupting the Quranic text when he doesn't do what it's supposed to be but done. But he doesn't make any opinions on what he's talking about. He does. You he haven't read his book. I have. I have you know, the, you, you know the worrying thing I here. Have it with you, you know, you know I read it. Okay, bring his book out. You, you know, you know, you know his book out. The, the worrying thing here for me is that you have an, a supposed academic who is deliberately misguiding people about the, the 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 truthfulness or the correctness of something. This is actually tantamount to, uh, I would say, you know, really just uh, uh, supplying. A lies and deception to convince the people of what he believes. It doesn't, it's just wrong. It doesn't make conclusions for it's him. Completely he's, wrong. He actually, all he says is like, okay. What does he conclude? He doesn't. All he says is, um, can we read? Sure. Well, obviously it's a book, and you have got to be careful about like where. Uh, it's probably conclusions. The Quran has been and continues to be consequential. Well, you don't remember where he mentions the, any claims of conclusion in his conclusion. Okay. I'm sure his conclusion here. In many parts of the world, it is a source of regional, cultural, and spiritual pride, and explicitly intertwined with every part of life. It is also an object of history, it related to one of the most dramatic and enduring movements of political conquest and colonization of the history in the world. It claims internally to be revelation from God and is claimed by Muhammad himself. Furthermore, I can keep reading it, but it's very neutral. 
like all he does is he takes can manuscript I, can I, can points. I, can I show you something? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You carry on speaking, okay. and I'm going to show you whether you think it's neutral. Can, can I tell you why it's not neutral? Okay. Can I tell you why it's not neutral? Okay. Have you read this? Can I? No, no. Can I tell you why it's not neutral? Okay. I'll tell you why it's not neutral. Because you're using Brubaker's arguments to yeah. demonstrate yeah. that there are multiple readings of corruption of the Quran. Okay? Yeah. Hold on a second. Okay. To be able to demonstrate that fairly, you have to have a robust methodology of how you've arrived at that conclusion. You've admitted that he hasn't done that. No, I've said he's pointed out. Hold on a second. On the original. See, I keep repeating so myself. You've, you've admitted that he hasn't done that. That to the reader is suggestive that there is corruption and manipulation of the Quran. No, he isn't saying. Even if it, he no. doesn't necessarily say it, he isn't saying. That is what he's no, suggesting. He's implying it. Yeah. He's implying that. Guys, have Absolutely. you read the book? <laughs> have you actually read the book? I know I you have. have. To the book. Just, okay, so no. does it, where is his conclusion? Does he say? Let's read. You have read this book, right? Yes. And his conclusion? Yes. Okay. I found tell, it really. Like, tell like, me what it means by this. Like all he's saying is. That, yeah. what what does this existence of these corrections mean? Okay, yeah. These corrections? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It is an open-ended question and many possible okay. answers. Ah, that sounds really here are advice. Here are a few of my thoughts. Here are a few of his thoughts. Okay, let's listen. So is he giving some of his thoughts? Yes, he gives some of his thoughts. Right. So he's saying first, although it seems to have been reasonably demonstrated by, by now that, with the exception of the lower layer of the Sana Palimpsest, most surviving Quranic manuscripts bear the signs of having been produced following a campaign of standardization, okay. holistically consistent with that reported to have been directed by the third Khalif. It is also clear that there existed some differences okay, so. of perception about the current, sorry, correct words of the Quranic text at the times most of these manuscripts were produced, okay. which were later revisited when these perceptions changed or standardization became more thorough. It is not impossible that some of these varying perceptions would have been tied to certain geographical region or location. This perceived flexibility exceeds the bounds of what is reported in the correct literature. He's saying there is a flexibility yes. of changes within the Quranic text yeah. because he can't find them in the Kirat literature. Do you know why it's not in the, Quran, in the Kirat literature? Because they are not part of the Kirat, they are simple mistakes. So why would someone have them in the Kirat literature when someone is making simple scribal mistakes? But he's saying because of those mistakes, there seems to be some kind of flexibility. flexibility. No. The reason they're, why is they're, because the palace says, wait, right? wait, wait, wait. He's saying there seems to be a perceived flexibility going on. Not only that, it looks. Yeah. These differences of perception were not confined to the earliest decades after Prophet Muhammad's death, but there was some flexibility extending for several centuries after. So that sounds yeah. like corruption. So now he's to me. making a claim. There seems yeah, to be. He didn't say listen, the Quran is corrupt. Listen, listen, can, he listen, was just saying, hey, listen, on the text, you read this. He's saying, if it quacks like a duck, the Quran has to be like a duck. Dude, you, yeah. you tell me that's not, yeah. that's not listen, a fair listen, interpretation. Listen to me. Are you? There seems to be flexibility during the time of the Prophet as well as later. Based on what? Yeah. One or two manuscripts yeah. within that region which has a I correction. Think I think it's seven, I think he goes through this. No. But, well, it's not just one or two, is it? A it? particular example he brings. Yeah. Yeah. It says, because that manuscript has a particular correction, it seems to be the text was so fluid, so flexible, it persisted yeah. until. But the but, reason but, why. Wait, wait. On, let's describe a, why that was. A, a scholar. Okay, yeah of a scholarly academic caliber yeah. would say, actually, is this what is what I've observed? Have I observed other manuscripts which also shows the same kind of pattern of flexibility? Because if we say something is flexible, we would expect what? Many other manuscripts to talk about the same word in this way, the corrected form, and to continue, not to be one manuscript. And it's I don't dead think that's and what he means by flexible. What, what he would mean, what my interpretation of that was, is that he means that because it's a polypsest, it's been written over. It's not it a polypsest. No, no. He, he, some of them are. Like no, for example, no, 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 no. Which of these manuscripts, which in these are polypsest? Um, Most of the, them are the, not polypsest. The one where he talks about the, um, the eight hundred or so examples in his PhD thesis that he talked about. They're not palimpsest. Okay, I'm talking about this so, book, though. No, even this book. Yeah, there is one, this the, book. the one where he talks about, I think it was like eight occasions where the word he is replaced by the word Allah. It's, it's written out and replaced by Allah afterwards. And I think that's what he means by flexibility. So those of you who haven't got a clue what we're talking about, read our response 
on this book, available you're, on you're, you're a Christian, page, you're a, you're a Christian, and then, right? and then you'll see how, okay. and then you'll see how this whole work is such an insignificant work in any textual study. You're a Christian, right? right. Any yes. textual study. Yeah, okay. Not only this, by the yeah. way, I, I have to give credit, Dr. Tayyar al Tikulaj, also, he's one of the world's foremost Quranic scholar, and you haven't even heard his name. Yeah, I'm not going to claim to have heard everything. If I'm any familiar. scholar who says, I'm a scholar in the Quran, mm -hmm. and who has not heard and read about the works of Dr. Tayyar al Tikulaj, in fact, in fact, in fact, he himself uses Dr. Tayyar yeah, al-Tikulaj's yeah, works, does, yeah. right. So, he's written a book as well, responding to this. Cool. And has Dr. Daniel Brubaker responded to him yet? No. Yeah, he says, I'm going to respond maybe in a book writing or something yeah, but, like but, that. But, but, what would he disagree with? Because his conclusion is, it's very vague, like, it's very bland. Can I, can I ask like you, said, can, okay, can, I, can I, I show you some more claims he's made in the beginning? Sure. Of course, you haven't read. In fact, in our book, in, in our response, there's no point even giving you a spoon feeding you. It's all there in our book showing you where he makes those ideological claims about these books, about the Quranic preservation and so on. All he says is that in some manuscripts it shows that there, there was a flexibility right. in the idea right. of Can I just ask you a question? You, say you, you, said, Allah, you, said, you said you're yeah. Christian, right? Yes. Sir. Yeah. If I was to go to the book of Matthew, yeah. yes, and I read a verse, and I found an error in there, yes, and I made a book. And I said, oh, look, I found these errors in the Bible. There's flexibility. The text was adopting. It was changing, da, 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 right? And then you turned around and said to me, but we have very early manuscripts, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, that, do, that right? have that word in there. Yeah, yeah. Yes? Multiple. In so, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. I'm getting there. Relax. You say I have multiple manuscripts that actually have that word in there. I have multiple manuscripts from that time that have that word in there. I have multiple manuscripts that come after that time that have that word in there. I have an oral tradition where this is being recited and it's still being recited today. Would it be fair for me then to say that that was an error? So this is what Christians would do with our scriptures. So New Testament scholarship for the last 200 years, we look at the earliest manuscripts in Greek but for the New Testament and then we look at to specifically understand what parts of it we can know have been inserted. Uh, 1 John uh, 5 7 might be an example, or the longer ending of Mark might be another one, and then we can make our conclusions based off this. And this is how we have validity. Did in I our ask scripture. you that question? Uh, yeah, but you're talking about, like, if you look at this. Did I ask you that question? What was the question I asked you? You said if you looked at the oral tradition and you looked at the earliest manuscripts and you saw the variants of them, I didn't say can that. You... No, I didn't say that. You're not even listening to what I'm saying. Okay, what did you say? I said if I found an error in a, 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 a verse in Matthew. Okay, that's exactly what I was referring to. Hold on a second. And then they felt there were multiple manuscripts that actually had yes. the correct word in. That's exactly what I And during that time, yep. and after. Yep. And you had an oral tradition that you could demonstrate okay. where that word is still being recited today. Okay. Would it be fair, be fair for me to say that, look, that word that I found that was wrong actually should demonstrate that there was a flexibility, there was an error. Okay. Would it be fair for me to say that? As I was getting to. Yes or come no? On, come on. Is it if fair? I try to speak, you Would it should be shut fair? me down. Would it be fair? What I'm saying is this, our understanding of scriptures is different from the Islamic Would it be fair for me to say that? Um, in Islamic scriptures, Would you it say be that fair for me to my, say my that? Friend, can I answer the way I you're want to You're not answer? answering it. I'm trying to, no, but you I, No, because you're frustrating me. Because I'm asking you a question and you're not bothering to answer it. Would it Let be fair? Answer. Would it be fair for me to say that there clearly shows errors and manipulation and fabrication in the text. Would it be fair? What it would be fair to say is that in the early Islamic manuscripts there are variants that do not conform with the standardized Hafs Quran today. Would it be fair that for is all me, I'm saying. Would it be That's fair all I have ever said would it be fair for me to say that this is an error in the Bible? Would it be fair? No and I'm not saying No I'm not saying it wouldn't be fair. So you said no it wouldn't be fair, right? Uh, wait, uh, yes, in the sense of you can inf you can use that methodology to know what parts of the Bible are valid and not valid. Yes, so it would be say. fair for me to say that the Bible has been corrupted because I found this one Although text. Words, but yeah. I found this one text mm. that disagrees. It would be fair for me to say the Bible is corrupt. Yes. Not in the sense of a full corruption. We believe that there's a distinction between the text and the message. Would it be fair for me to say that that's corrupt, even though there are manuscripts? What do you mean by corrupt? Oh, do I have to explain words well, to no, you now? Well, because there's an emotional loaded term of that word, and uh, there's, a, there's a variant somewhere worse. Okay, so let, me what do you let me explain it to you again. Okay. I find an error, a different word. Okay, okay so you're talking about a variant. You as a Christian, okay. 
say to me, but I have multiple manuscripts before. Yeah. So I can derive what was likely the correct Multiple during that time, uh, yeah. multiple after, and I have an oral tradition that confirms the correct word. Would it be fair under those circumstances for me to still claim that it's a corruption? You see how he's struggling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of a very, You see yes. how he's struggling? No, no, it's because, because, I'm what because it would be inherently unfair. No, no, yeah. you have a different standard. It would be inherently unjust. Of their Bible. It would be unjust and unfair for I me to claim that. that. You know Bible why you're not answering the question? I don't say that. You're not answering the question because did. you're doing exactly the same thing to the Quran. Just to now give some material evidence to the book. Look, this is example one. Example one, so-called corrections like, look, in response, we're going to manuscripts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, that's example two, twelve or thirty manuscripts, which doesn't have these so-called corrections, exactly the same as a manuscript. Example number two, in response from other manuscripts, from manuscript one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen sufficient. Example number three. Three has many examples. Three one. Right? That is circle corrections. And in our response, what do we find about other manuscripts from around that time? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. Is that, is that what you're example number three, two. For every example, these are about 300 pages of work, right? 300 pages of manuscripts work, showing you exactly how the so-called corrections are only within that manuscript, but we have other sure. manuscripts from that That you can derive region. the actual meaning from. Yeah. Right. So that means then, all your thesis about whatever you want to bring, flexibility, corruption, goes under was, the bus. Because scribes thought they could change from look, the manuscripts, look, look, look. right? What this demonstrates, yeah. the Quranic tradition, the Quranic textual tradition, yeah. is, that is so rigid. Right, because you have other manuscripts, wait, right? Wait, wait, let me finish my point. Okay. Quranic textual tradition is so rigid, right. not flexible, that whatever we read today, we can go back centuries, even those centuries around these manuscripts that he's using to show it's exactly the same that is in our current Mus'haf. Right. Demonstrating Quranic rigid preservation. When I say rigid, it's exactly how it is. Not flexible, or they had a different Quran. Right. Same. So. So now, do you now understand this yeah, yeah. book is insignificant? But it didn't talk about that. No, what I'm saying is, it doesn't matter if you have 20 examples or a yes, million examples. He's just saying. Listen, listen, to my point. It doesn't matter if you bring Daniel Brubaker or, or whoever. As long as the material evidence is on our side, which is, which is, then the claim of Quranic preservation is something that you have to accept unwillingly or so willingly. what I would say is that that to me is basically the standard New Testament critical approach for how Christians do with their that's Bible. That's absolutely nonsense. It's awkward and preserved in the textual tradition. Yeah. That's, why, that's how I explained uh, to him. <laughs> to the... Well, not in the Cairo because these differ from the Cairo version. It's mostly the same. Like it's you most see, standard, all these different. buzzwords, Cairo edition, Cairo... Well, when that's, was that's, the, a, that's a main Quran on, on. today when 95% of the world... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Yeah. I have a Quran right. which is of the half reading before 1924. Be before 1924, okay. Oh, so, really? so oh. was the Quran standardized oh. in 1924? The no, no, there were different. Yeah, I've got to read Maghrib actually. No, no, no. In 1924, what happened? They, of the stand, they standardized the Quran and they, no, 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 we've got they threw away the non standard. We're going to finish now. Uh, no, 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 they didn't throw away them. Again, you, you are regurgitating or like vomiting out this. Just, Relax. Let me finish. Uh, let me finish. This is just what I think. Let yeah. me finish. I'm going to be. If it's a spade, I will say it's a spade. If it's a duck, I will say it's a duck. So I am saying you are regurgitating or vomiting out. Or saying, yeah. Not saying. This polemical nonsense and rubbish. <laughs> it's all that I'm saying. Been, can I finish my point though? No, because you're just right. insulting me. I'm not I'm insulting. Fine. You just said I'm regurgitating. I am saying, I am, I am saying look. This information about the Quran in 1924, when they were standardizing it, the rest of them threw in the Nile. Do you know where they got this from? 
Okay, so this isn't true. Hang on. Do you know where they got this from? I don't know. Right, let I've me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Okay, just don't don't say like I'm okay. regurgitating these lies. Did just you say, not say yeah, they yeah. they got rid of all the others? Um, did you not I just heard say? That they, I heard they put the non-standardized versions. What in did the they note. do? Is that true? In, no. So you, no. Wait, so 1924. In 1924. I've heard about it, but is it Good. true? I don't so know. let me tell you now. So you've heard about it. Did you examine it? Did you critically examine? the truthfulness of the story? I did. Okay, so what's I the went to the sources. What's did the answer? One moment. Did you do that? No, I haven't. Good. My so friend, you haven't. I'm still so, learning. Good. So okay, in your so learning, let, let me let me give you something, an advice, a, okay. a friendly advice. When you're gonna learn about someone else's scripture, mm. don't take it from these from Dick and Harry here preaching and saying Quran is not preserved, they're 36